Good night, everyone, and welcome back to Nocturnal Corner with Bat. In today's episode, you're about to follow me on my journey of torment to collecting the challenge of Destroy Ten Ears, and what a goddamn challenge that is. This is going to be our main build right here, the Munch 5K. It's going to be a bit slight differences you're going to see. Not too much is basically going to be the, the entire build as the same. Uh, the main difference is, is if you take a look up there, I'm going to be taking off one of those horns and that exhaust and replacing it with the ears. This is going to be by Dark Gooey Gooey. I actually had to watch a YouTube video on that. I'm surprised it was actually in there. Let's give them a little bit of a like and I'm going to show you two pieces that I am going to be missing. Actually, take that back and make it three. I'm going to be missing those three and I am going to be missing some of those upgrades because my bear cabin and my lancers are not going to be upgraded. And, of course, some of the other parts are going to be a little bit different. So you can see here my tonnage is a little bit weaker. I am going to be running at 77 km and not the 80. You can see right here I replaced the ears. I don't have the upgrades on my pieces. And instead of 1949, I am going at 1945. But it's not really a problem. This bear cabin has a decent bit of push to it for most vehicles. And you can see right here the damage is going to be rather excellent and this is going to be a pretty cheesy build because I am going to need it to properly destroy all these vehicles in this area so further ado let's get into our first match and here we go ladies and gentlemen we're gonna be moving into our first game of this episode now this actually is not the first game that I've done let's just say that after four days FOUR DAYS! I finally figured out that you definitely need to be playing lower power score so you can get this really stupid challenge done. If you thought, hey, destroying 10 ears is no problem, ha, let me tell you, you better know where you're playing. So if you really want this ear challenge, you're gonna have to go down low. 5k and below is my recommendation, or at least 6k and below, let's say that. Because if you even dare do 9k and higher, god forbid you may never see ears. And even if you do see ears, you could have situations like this where you could murder this dude, no problem, and you won't get anything. And that's because ears, you have to actually destroy the ears. So if somebody else goes and destroys it, it doesn't matter. You will have the time of your life trying to go back and do it all over again. So you better start memorizing who in this game has the ears. So as soon as the game starts, take a look at your team and be like, hmm... Uh, let's see which fuckface is running the pink shit on top of his car. Oh, that guy! I better write down his name on a piece of paper! But guess who didn't have a piece of paper and just tried to memorize every stupid motherfucker I saw that had ears popping up in the, right when the match started. Yours truly. Thank you. So, let's just say that I pulled off some of my, uh, my rules of don't be that player. And what that was is being a targeter to as soon as I saw this guy I was like I am going to hunt this guy down the entire match and make sure that I give him a really bad time with my melee weapons cuz I want to see him bleed I don't even care if he's in an armored vehicle I want to see the armored vehicle bleed I, I don't give a shit make it happen because I want to get this damn challenge done playing this challenge is torment itself so yes I am running a tormentor with these lacerators but let me just say that the actual torment is going through this challenge where we can see here I am not going to have jack shit all right and then you're probably going to be telling yourself well it's just going to take a little bit of time oh yeah it's definitely a little bit of time it does so I kind of prompted myself I need to avoid the bots by all means necessary because guess what bots don't have they don't have ears they're fucking robots why the hell they need ears they're like damn lizards they're gonna have a big ass hole in their head or an owl let's say an owl all right, so now that we got that out of the way, we are going for players. Do you repeat that one more time? Players. Oh, look at this. Sorry, a sack of shit trying to go around. He looks like a prime target. Yeah, I think we need to catch up to him because he's looking. He's looking like he's missing a few cuts. So let's get in here, show him the power of three melee weapons with a tormentor, and just wipe his ass off the face of the earth. Oh hey, look, two more motherfuckers. Oh, what is this, a dog pile? I don't give a shit. You are coming with me now. Have fun. Bye, bitch. Thanks for the fun, okay? Yeah. So this is about game... I don't know. I don't even fucking know, man. This is like 30 minutes in. 
30 minutes in, got all three players, and now we gotta just deal with this stupid ass bot because it is a bot. They can drive forward, and bots also have plus six luck. So when they flip over, they land back on their wheels. So now we get to have the fun thing of let's play chase the bot while the bot can drive just fine while shooting in reverse. So we're gonna do a little bit of maneuver, serpentine, serpentine. The bot is thinking that, oh, I'm gonna try again. Oh, you just pressed your luck a little bit too much there, sir. Thanks for the kill, bitch. And now we are going to be in another victory. So let's see, after 13 whatever games, did we finally achieve it? Holy shit. Two ears. Finally. Two ears after three days. Don't do 9K or higher. Do not do this challenge 9K or higher. I repeat, do not do this challenge 9k or higher so now that we are finally making some progress and we found out that these lower pieces of shit are the ones that are keeping all these goddamn ears we're gonna use our melee weapon to surgically remove them from the face of the earth all right that is two down hopefully we got some ears from that and now we just got to deal with these stupid ass bots but wait a minute there's still another player oh there's his motherfucking bitch ass let's go for him hello sir i like your melee weapons too bad mine's better yep Yep, have a mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah, and what I say about the bear having some decent little push power. Ah, not looking so good. Not looking so good. All right, so let's see. Did we make any progress after another five games? Yes, sir. And then we're going to be having a little bit of example here just to show that we're playing a bunch of games, and we got to four. So, now that we're making some progress, I didn't really, like I said, I did edit it, a lot of these games, and I tried to pick just the best ones or the ones that we get close to our challenge. Alright guys, so you're not going to be watching the entire progress that is like four days worth of bullshit that I'm sure nobody wants to see. So, let's continue on with our journey and finally achieve getting permanent ears am i even going to be using these ears probably not if they were bat wings it'd probably be a whole different story but here we go we see a bot here we see a bot there but where's the real players oh there's one he's looking mighty fresh oh and now he looks like a fucking dumpster oh there's another real player we already shaved the shit out of that one so he probably lost his ears but as soon as this guy decides that he wants to show the big pink turds on top of his car i'm gonna turn on the tormentor and show him why that was a bad idea now we just get rid of these little pieces of shit and we're gonna have a decent game this one but wait there's more there's still another son of a bitch in here that i don't like seeing alive so, oh, train plow, train plow, excellent way to convert, you know, stop the stupid ass melee. But, we're gonna work with that, because as soon as he tries to do his little reversey versy boop, aw, oh, man. Should have been more careful with your ammo box. So, lost the little last raider, but let's just end this bot and take him out of misery. Alright. Do, 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 oh, took out another one. Doesn't matter, he's dead. Congratulations, you played yourself. Alright, so now that's another victory. What did we get after another 13 games? Come on, come on. Oh, that's another ear! Like I said, and so, I don't know if you saw that, but let me introduce you to Dude Game Dude and Lego Your Ego. Two Xbox players that, in this course of this journey, annoyed the absolute shit out of me because during day three they left a total of six to eight games that i joined in so god knows how long and how many they've actually abandoned leaving your team with not even a bot luckily this time they decided to leave during the start and it gave the enemy team a bot so good for them but what a bunch of sacks of shits i i don't know why they kept doing that but it was annoying as hell please stop being a draft dodger all right. Yes, we are going to go back to the cross out special because that's what they are. Special. All right. So we got in here. We're getting our first player. Oh, look, a big old trucky wucky. Oh, and he's bye bye. All right. So he's starting out great. That's two players going to try to go for this one. Sadly, we do a little bit of a, a little bit of a climb there. I didn't know I was running a hover, but doesn't matter. Come back. Going to finish him off. Yep. Take care. Have a great day. 
Now we're going to be going to Orlando, which I am actually am going to be going to Orlando in November because they're going to be having a theme park expo. And if you did watch my video of where I plan to go from here, you know that I am planning to go to these expos for their education so I can get into the theme park industry. So hello there, Orlando. Nice little race car you got going there. It's not going to really help you much if my teammate would get the fuck out of the way, please. And I can now just come in here and end his little bitch-ass bot life. But did we make any progress? Let's have a look-see. Oh, that's another year! <laughs> you know, getting to six took about two hours. So, you know what? The first two days of doing some bullshit in those high power score, maybe that's what I was doing wrong this entire time. Actually, I don't even know if that was two hours. It was probably longer, but if I remember correctly, it took about... I had like four hours of recording where I was just going through this so I think day three I did have to go to work so I do believe getting to six was in the second hour so here we go we're gonna be going in here gonna be looking for a nice player to kill now I started remembering people that didn't have the ears so I am gonna be starting to target certain players which you know and I'm being the targeter here and I do know that this guy here and his buddy who are in the same clan neither one of them were carrying the ears there's his buddy right there so I would promptly ignore him and I would go for Mr. Psycho here because this is the first time I've seen him and I really just wanted to tear his ass another hole in multiple places so that way I could get the chance of getting myself another ear and since he does have a nice little bit of an explodey back there I was trying to grind it up a little bit but he is doing vena uh, Nah, I don't even know how to fucking say it. You know, he's doing maneuvers to fucking evade me. There we go. Evasive maneuvers. There. I don't know why I'm so damn stupid sometimes that I can't even say it. But this is where you gotta kinda come and play because real players have a hard time. And it's only 1v1. This dude tried to do his little thingy. And looks like the underdog came on top. Alright, so did we make any progress? Seven. Now I am gonna be showing a little clip here. And this is just basically progress of me just going through the game just as in a little example that I got to 8 took me a little bit to get there and now for the rest of the day we're basically just going to be playing the game or you know until I had to go to work to where I had some decent games I was killing a decent amount of players that you're going to see here and I just could not get any more ears. It seems like if you do want to actually try to go for that you better be hoping that you get here in time in the morning otherwise you're just going to be you know stuck doing a bunch of bullshit where you're just regularly playing game and we're at a point that I've played this game for about seven plus years or whatever the hell however the hell long it's been so here we go going after another real player alright these are I remember that these were the ones that didn't have the ears but you know they're already here and I just decided eh, well if I grind them out of the way it'll take them off the focus for the other real players sadly it's them two and this California guy with the K and I don't know if he had any ears at the time, so I was hoping that I could go find him. Killed my team up up here with Matthias. So we're going to come up here. We're going to get rid of Matthias real quick since he is on fire. A little bit of a love tap there. And now he has to be somewhere up here because he just killed my teammate with a drone. Uh, right there he is. And this is going to be a bit of a chase to where I was like... I, I was trying to chase this man to the ends of the earth. I was like, I have no idea if this guy has any goddamn ears on him, but Lord knows I ain't going to let him get to my real player to lose that opportunity. So I'm going to be chasing, 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 and I'm not going to try to let him get out of my sight because at this point after two days and now a few hours, I was ready to break my PlayStation in half trying to do this damn challenge so I'm not going to let him out of my sight okay can we all just understand that some of these challenges in this game just make you want to rip your hair out and it's not even the fact that they're hard it's just the fact that you gotta hope for a circumstance having a challenge where you have to hope that the other players do it is really sucks but here he gets outplayed because I knew he was going for the base and I managed to get that grind in for the kill but did I get anything for that no! Looks like California has no ears! So, we're almost getting close to day two. So, let's see where this is going to be going. 
Okay, so they got four real players. I'm pretty sure Mick Lane has no ears from what I've seen. But the other three, I am not sure. As I don't believe I've seen their names yet. I don't fully remember a lot of time. A lot of the times I will remember like four or five people. But you know, a lot of people have weird names. So it's a little hard to predict. So we're going to go hit Joshua. Because he does have those grenade launchers. There is going to be times where I am going to not go for bots but times where I will go for bots and the reason for that is because if the bots do aggro on you since they have that unholy aim you know they're just gonna come and mess up your day so if you're not careful with them right they will just mess you up while you're trying to get the challenge done alright so looks like we got two more enemies mm. alright he's thinking he's gonna melee my bot Instead, he got meleeed himself with the same weapon. Just going to make sure to finish him off because you never know if the ears are under his cab. We got one more enemy in here. I'm going to completely ignore Peter because I see McLean's on fire. And boop, I'm going to kill him real quick and hope to get some ears. And then now we can just finish off the bot because let's just get this game over with. So that way we can try to make some progress. But did we make any progress? Of course not. So now we're just going to go through a little bit of a montage. Just just two little things of where I'm getting victories after victories. And I ain't making no damn progress. Alright, here's another one. Alright, did we make any progress? Of course not. We're in the montage. So we're getting close here to day two. And I do believe this is starting day two. And let me tell you. After two days of making no progress... And then the other day, it takes like hours to make slow progress. I I was really hoping to make even a little bit of progress in the first game. So, you know, when it takes so damn long of you trying to hunt down something specific that you got to hope that that player decided, hey, I'm going to throw this on my car real quick, it sucks. And now that I'm getting attacked by the two bots, I decided, hey, let's just get rid of them real quick. Because we got four players that are going to be all over there. And you know what? This is actually going to be beneficial. Because if my bots go over there, they're going to get distracted. I don't have an invisibility module. So I'm going to sneak up behind them. So I'm going to get a little bit of a base point here. The bots are moving in. And now this is my opportunity to get back there and start getting up some ass. Okay, guys? I have no idea if they're male or female. In this case, when it comes to killing, you can call me by killable. Okay? So... We got Teen, we got New Slider, we got whoever the hell else is here. It looks like the whole pack is here. Alright, I wanted to go for the shotgun guy because I do believe the shotgun guy has, you know, the ears. And you know what's interesting is you see how much damage I did to this Teen dude? Yeah, he actually has ears and it didn't give me his ears. I was mad as hell. So we're going to throw this guy in there. We're going to finish off this green dude for our fifth kill. But sadly, we're not going to get this final shotgun guy because he's too far up our ass. So what we're going to do here is we're going to play a bit more strategic. We're going to reverse on him. We're going to hit our brakes, try to slow him down. And now he's stuck with the whole team. All right. So let's see. Did we make any progress? Huh? Come on. No. So that is no progress there. Alright, so there's going to be a few really good games like that where I kill a bunch of people and I still am stuck at 8 out of 10. And look, you see Teen? Teen? How much damage did I did that son of a bitch? I killed him! He has ears! Didn't give me no ears. It's bullshit. That is straight bullshit. Now you're going to see me chase the Rusty over here, and the reason that I was really adamant on going for him is because I know Rusty is another person with ears. And I see where he's going, I'm going to try to go for it. He does a little bit of dodge, and as soon as he fucks up, I'm going to be like, I don't give a shit what's hitting me right now. You can launch artillery on my head all you want. I am going to kill Rusty, because I know Rusty has some goddamn ears. He thinks he's going to get away, you see that? And now this is the part that was a little upsetting is because that happens a lot I forgot what I called it in the special video I believe it was the cock block and this dude right here this Rez guy I'm sure you can hear me beeping at him is because Mr. Rez has more than once rammed his car into me to take me off a kill screw you Mr. Rez I did not appreciate that when I'm doing this unholy challenge but 
I'm going to take out this guy just in case. Because I don't remember his ass. Now we got two real players left who we're going to be going for. I don't give a shit who they are or where they are. They are going to die by my hand of melee. Oh, he's going to be doing the same shit Mr. Rez is doing, but I don't care. We're going to chase him down and kill him. He is a little bit slower, so this does give us a better chance. However, the walls, and I... God dang, man, these walls, I swear they're in favor of hovers, because as soon as you push anything into those damn walls or hovers, they would just bounce right off of you, and you get stuck against the damn wall. I hate that so much. But we're still going to be going for him. He's the last one left. Grind him up, and let's hopefully, after all those kills, did we get the ninth ear? Hallelujah. Now, this is going to be further in here. This game might be not as exciting, but this game, this game has revolution. Resolution, sorry, whatever the hell, whatever the word you want to use. I, I, don't, I don't care, because at this point, I am so damn frustrated that I just want this challenge to end. I just want it to end. You don't understand how much I hate this challenge. This challenge reminded me of the stupid, what, what is it, the Rocket League ripoff thing? Where it's like, would you like to have this thing for your garage to hit the ball in it? Or would you like to have this statue? Oh, would you like to have this? Well, you're going to have to do all this bullshit. And you know what? I don't care, because I'm about to grind the fuck out of everyone. Because it's going to be a lot more simpler. And look, see, this guy's going to have a little bit more power. He's going to have that... Uh, the jawbreaker cabin so you can see he's starting to push me but my last raider is going to eventually take off some of his melee weapons right there and have the upper hand and as soon as my last raider takes off that arm i'm gonna get on front and i'm gonna show him a bad time a very bad time at that all right missing a wheel missing a wheel and still have a dream we got we lacerated the fuck out of that guy killed another guy one more real player over here get the hell out of my way going for it we're going for it oh here we go here we go that's it did we finally achieve the challenge like i had to do a double take i was literally looking through the challenges and i saw it i was like oh my god oh my god it's over i literally sat there for like 30 minutes pacing around the damn camper just holding my hands and just laughing to myself like if I was the Joker just going insane and I was just saying it's over it's over PlayStation I beat the shit out of you so bad and it's over <laughs> look at this <laughs> look at these little pink turds on top of my car oh man <sighs> sweet relief sweet relief but of course you know we got to play one more game and do just one more game with this bad boy i don't care how it goes we got the double ears and i'm gonna let everybody know i'm gonna beat my horn i'm gonna flash him off i don't care who sees it who might go for me i'm gonna let everybody know why i got the damn ears <sighs> yeah just drive around the whole team let them all know let them all know that the beacon has been set and we finally achieved our goal after four days we finally reached it and then we're gonna make this dude feel bad cuz you see he's on the challenge <laughs> I just ruined his dreams oh, man you know that made me feel bad actually when I was playing the game I was like damn this dude's probably doing the challenge too I saw his ears and I just came and destroyed his dreams he could have had not one but two if he would have shot the top of my car <laughs> Ah, I feel his pain. I feel his pain. Just let him know. Just let them all know. Show it off. Oh, you think you're going to stop me with that stupid ass truck? I don't think so. My teammate's suiciding over here, so he's giving me the kill. Oh, that's two down. We're almost coming to our last victory. Guys, what a challenge. What a challenge to absolutely make me not want to play this game. You did great, Gaijin. You really know how to make challenges that are completely garbage. Please stop doing it. I don't want to depend on other people because other people are pieces of shit. Like, I, uh, we all know. We all know. Like, let's not even, like, say that the Crossout community is better than others because I had to tell some dude to shut the hell up and stop being a smart ass in chat when I was asking people how the hell do I find ears. And this dude was a level 15. Man, whoever that was, screw you. Shut the hell up. I'm going to tell you again. I'm going to tell you again just in case you're watching my shit. 
And now this just feels like the Paris Island victory lap. As soon as you get that Eagle Globe and Anchor, and you put on your green skivvies, and you wait after the Warriors' breakfast, just a few days down the line, practicing on that parade deck, and you know that it's all coming to an end, and you're about to leave Paris Island. A different man. Right there. Taking out his wheels. Grinding him up. You look off to the side and you see your family as you run by going to Bell Tower to Barrel Tower. And now you know that it's over. And the challenge has been completed. If you like this, make sure you like and subscribe. And you guys have a great night. See ya.